How you doing here? Okay, so I'm going to plug up my, actually I did plug up my new Seagate 5 terabyte hard drive. Got the uh, USB already plugged in and the power plugged in. And I plugged it into my power strip here where I have my audio amplifier plugged in. The other one over there is going to my phone chargers and stuff and my laptop. So it's not anything to do with this. Okay, so I don't hear anything. Um, can't really. I don't know how to do both of the two hands. I can't use two hands at once. But uh, you know, through the vent holes, you would think you would hear it running. That's how it, it always works with my uh, hard drive adapters that I have. Hard drive goes ahead and spins up. Of course, they're a little different. Can't find the end of the cable. I think. I'm hoping <laughs> that would be really bad if it uh, was DOA, wouldn't it? What would I be pissed? Okay, so I think maybe it just won't come on until you plug it into the computer. So let's plug it in. It's kind of dark in there. There we go. There it goes. Yeah, the light came on. I heard it spin up. It's nice and quiet, but you can't hear it. Oh, and there's a let's do the bottom bit holes. So, uh, and it mounted up. I'm just gonna set it up there next to the set it up there, and uh, it has a picture of itself. I mean, it is a picture of itself. It looks like it in the little icon. That's that's neat. So. I will, um, I was wanting to make a desktop video, you know, of it, of, of um, mount, you know, getting into it and all that stuff, and I thought I would mess with it first, but you know what, why don't I just uh, shut this camera down here, this phone camera, and set up my desktop video. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on that icon and do that right now, and then after that I'll get on the, de do a desktop video for the details, so. Yep, there it is. Has a start here or execute, which would only be good for Windows. Oh, warranty PDF. Uh, just the icon. That's just the icon, I think. And then auto run INF. So, yeah, it's all ready for Windows. Registration. Serial number. That's all that's in there right now. I knew it would be. I was sure it was formatted because uh, I thought it said that on the website. So, I'll just leave that where it is, and um, since I'm going to be using my Fedora 23 Linux system, I don't have anything that tells what it is here, but uh, that's my system monitor. Uh, and I mentioned before, uh, I built a system for somebody with uh, Windows 7 and Fedora 22 or something like that, and it... Uh, that's me switching my different desktops. <coughs> it... Uh, and I set up a backup. It's one hard drive with uh, several partitions, and I use one partition for backup through from Linux to Windows and from Windows to, I mean, from Linux to the backup partition and from Windows 7 to the backup partition. And what turned out, it looks me forever to back up all their data from uh, the Linux side. So, um, what it is, I copied all their files into both operating systems because this is a person that don't know really anything about computers. Uh, and uh, they could use, uh, you know, Thunder. They could use an email program and use what Facebook, and that was pretty much it. And you know, maybe view some pictures as long as it wasn't uh, as an app they were familiar with, you know. So anyway, I, it took forever to, for writing because you know NTFS is a closed source, uh, uh, owned by Microsoft, I think, yeah. And uh, so. Uh, you know, optimizing the drivers and everything is pretty hard uh, with closed source because they won't give you the information you need, you know, for the programmers to do it. So, um, after that, uh, well, I, I just never, I never ran into it because I just always use uh, Linux file systems because ever since 2005, that's what I use is Linux. So, uh, for the, you know, 99% of my, any, everything on computers. So, anyway, ext 4 and ext 3 is generally what I use for my backup drives. 
and uh, file systems. And uh, <clears throat> so that's probably what I'm going to want to do with this is reformat it. And yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Um, I'd have a, uh, I was kind of worried about it overheating and stuff like some people said they did, but the ones that were overheating didn't look like this case. It didn't have all those vent holes, so uh, I'd actually thought I might, you know, take it out and put it in a computer. So uh, and use it as my main hard drive in this computer right here, this little Lenovo i5, because it actually has a. These are uh, they say when you open them up, they're laptop hard drives in size. What they are. The size, you know, uh, S SATA, SATA laptop hard drives, and that's what's in this uh, Lenovo i5. It's kind of a laptop in a box, really, what it is. So um, it's actually not as doesn't have as much video memory as a laptop. It has 256 megabyte of video memory. But anyway, another story there. But uh, now I'm thinking, you know, it really would be convenient <coughs> to have this little drive just always plugged in either to my okay over here. I have. going to show my web yeah that bright white that uh, IBM that is a really quiet computer it's a Celeron dual core it's my web server could plug it into it because it's always running you know and, it, and then back up to that drive but um, kind of don't want something that's you know open up to the internet having all my personal files riding on it too so I do have up here I guess I'll just show it. Uh, this is another option that well, everything's really dusty and a lot of dust here. Uh, not the old link sys, but the uh, TP link on the bottom actually has two USB ports and you can plug USB hard drive into them. It's an N750. But came out last year or even sometime, not too long, too up along ago, that uh, there's a major vulnerability in there. Uh, you connect to it through FTP and it's a major vulnerability it can be easily hacked and so then your USB hard drive could be you know, got into that way and I've been uh, I turned all that off is what I did I've been wanting to um, I didn't have a drive to use on it anyway and then also well this other router that's why I have three routers that I'm using that's an old uh, trend net it uh, doesn't work so great it's pretty uh, F uh, as it got older, it got slower. My original Netgear, which I only turn on once in a while for fiddle around with other things, like uh, using it by itself for, uh, well, I can't even remember. I won't go into all that right now, but uh, anyway, it's not plugged in. So the, um, and of course I have it plugged in here right now. I just did that in the machine that I use every day, and I could just use it that way, but then the whole point being if it's that would be my next best thing because uh, the um, anytime I turn on another machine like this one here that used to be my main machine and that's Fedora 14 with like three or four hard drives in it and that's a, my is my, it's basically my backup machine right now but I don't turn it on very often because it's noisy and it uh, makes a lot of heat too that's one thing I do like about the little Lenovo i5 down here I got that. Somebody gave it to me. Somebody that I do computer work for, or help them out, maybe give them advice. Sometimes I actually do work for them. Uh, an old, actually, it was an old neighbor grew up next door to me. He was a bit young, uh, quite about ten years younger than me, or something like that. But he, anyway, he he has a he moved, he bought a house, and uh, I'll be back. Somebody's coming in.